Hi, my name is Chinomso Ibe. I am a graduate research assistant at the University of Minnesota, and this is a hands-on activity demonstration on dust generation. I developed this activity along with Pete Rayner from the University of Minnesota. The objective of this activity is to measure the influence of drop height on types of powders and their spread of particles through the air. So for this activity, you will need a dark colored picnic tablecloth and plastic spoons. You will also need a tape measure to measure powders dropped from heights of 8 inches, 2 feet and 6 feet. The powders chosen for this activity is wheat flour, rice flour and cornstarch. Begin this activity with the wheat flour. First, lay out the tablecloth on the floor and determine a grid of three rows by three columns on the tablecloth. You may choose to mark the grid or not, but ensure that there is enough distance between each region on the grid. In the first row and first column of the grid, drop a spoonful of wheat flour from 8 inches by rapidly inverting the spoon. Using the tape measure, Measure the width of the spread of the wheat flour. The spread here is one foot. In the first row and second column of the grid, drop a spoonful of the wheat flour from a height of two feet and measure the width of its spread on the tablecloth. The spread here measures 1.4 feet. In the first row and third column of the grid, drop a spoonful of the wheat flour from a height of 6 feet. The width of the spread measures 2 feet wide. It is apparent that the impact of increasing height influences the spread of the powders. The spread of the wheat flour at a height of 6 feet is wider than that of a spread at 2 feet, followed by the spread at 8 inches. Next, carry out the same measurement for the rice flour in similar fashion as the wheat flour on the tablecloth. Measure the width of the spread at 8 inches. 2 feet, 6 feet. The width of the spreads are approximately 1.1, 1.5 and 2.2 feet respectively on the second row of the grid. The spread width of the rice flour is larger than the spread width of the wheat flour, which were 1 foot, 1.4 feet and 2 feet. And finally, measure the spread width of the corn starch powder at 8 inches, 2 feet, and at 6 feet. The measured widths of the spread are approximately 2.9, 2.8, and 3.3 feet respectively on the third row of the grid. Now, I notice that some of the powder particles at height 2 feet cross into an adjacent column or region on the grid, so it is likely that the 2.8 feet tape measurement is not accurate. Therefore, make sure that each region on the grid is wide enough to accommodate powder spreads and to reduce measurement errors. Now, compare the widths of the spread of the three powders. We see here that cornstarch shows the greatest spread, followed by rice flour and then wheat flour. This is because cornstarch powder has the smallest particles, whereas wheat flour generally has the largest particles. Also, dropping the powders from greater height led to greater spreads. This is because the force of impaction of each powder is greater as the drop height increases. The increased energy imparted to the powder by this impaction force causes the powder to move further through the air before simply due to gravity. So for the same amount of applied force, smaller particles will be able to move through the air farther 
than larger particles. This concludes the activity on dust generation. Thank you for watching. This lesson has been created by the Midwest Emerging Technologies Public Health and Safety Training Program, also known as MEDFAST, which is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota School of Public Health, the University of Iowa College of Public Health, and Dakota County Technical College. The content of this lesson is solely the responsibility of the developers and does not necessarily represent the official views of the National Institutes of Health.